I bolt it to my desk and yes I don't care about my desk is really dirty and destroyed so no matter what we screw it down but this is too flimsy as you can see it moves now we're gonna spin this at least I don't know to uh, 10 20,000 rpm this will be just destroyed but still we're gonna give it a go otherwise we're just gonna hold it in our hand these brackets are not needed for what we're trying to do I just wanted to make a little bit more professional but yeah, if you want you can make them a little bit thicker of course in your slicer two, sc uh, two screws on each side and you are done and we're gonna put oil what's the point I want, I want to see in case this will go so fast that it will maybe it will melt and put the axle to you know make an indentation in the hole here but uh, and I've noticed sometimes it depends on what oil you're gonna put uh, when it comes to PLA the PLA will absorb it and uh, basically will do nothing or sometimes uh, there are some oils like what I have seen that baby oil will melt the PLA I don't know how why or whatever but I have seen that I had the uh, hamster wheels and I put a little bit of baby oil and I can see that the plastic is uh, starting to melt and plastic is already on the axles the, let's say the PLA is blue so there's blue on the axles so somehow there's a, some kind of chemical reaction that it melts it so no oil here just gonna see the friction of the PLA and uh, I think this is metal making me aluminium I'm not sure my compressor is almost on the max now it lost a little bit of air because I did a test run but you can see it's right now it's what six bars I think how many PSI does it say? it says 180 maybe on 100 PSI and uh, when this will start and fill up again this will go to the red this is open all the way so we have all the air going inside our uh, our air gun this is the air gun I'll be using just a normal tip nothing special and you can you can see this is on full sandpaper here and we're gonna see how fast can we spin our wheel with our compressor gun. there's a way how to spin this one you think I think I have to go on the top just because otherwise it will not spin it fast enough and you're gonna hear it when it's uh, fast mm, like, like right now it took it really fast let's see if we can do it again Just locks on the plastic here. It locks on the plastic. I don't want to put oil because that's not the point. You can hear it going in RPM. <laughs> Now my compressor is losing air.
people will ask me why I'm doing this. I, it's such an experiment, nothing really to prove. I just wanted to see, you know, sometimes you can see those videos on YouTube or TikTok mechanic doing, taking a gear or something, or a bearing, and just spinning it with an air gun and releasing it. So I wanted to see what will happen with PLA. This is normal settings, one millimeter walls, one millimeter top and bottom layers, two millimeter uh, layer height, 0 0.2 millimeter layer height, sorry. I can see that we have a crack here, but I did a crack before. And yes, basically it's a fun little, you know, project. It would be cool to do it outside. I don't have such a long space and I don't want to put it in someone's car, right? But if you have a big space, this would be great. And you can download it. I will make them free in tanks.com. You can change the link in the description. Let's do more. But the the way that I'm doing, I figured out to do it. I'm holding it a little bit against the, the floor here. Be mind, this is an old warehouse, basically. That's why it's a little rusty there. Don't judge me on that. Uh, so yeah, I'm putting it on the on the ground a little bit to make it straight because uh, from what I can see there's a little bit of play Maybe it's already worn out and that's how I can spin and you can hear it when it goes I'm gonna show you now when it will go it makes a really cool noise when it's spinning even without me putting air in it You can hear it hear it and you will see I can give you a cool idea. This will be fun if you're a mechanic or even a kid or someone that has an air compressor and uh, to do a race with them. Wouldn't that be cool? You can customize them however they want. You can make them however you want, small, big. You can do whatever fins you want inside. You can make like a turbo, whatever, like a plane, fins, whatever. And this will be cool to race them, right? To make like a race tag or something and see which one or will go the farthest or which one will uh, spin the fastest or which one will long last. Let's do again one more thing. And we're gonna conclude. Nice experiment, again, free to donut for whoever wants it. The only thing you're gonna need is a printer, of course, and an air gun. Thank you for watching, subscribe, like and share and I hope I will see you in the next one.